We get no education at all in school. We have no sex education in our school. Maybe twice a week, I see a girl walking down the hall pregnant. People just really ignore pregnant girls. It's a part of normal life at my school. If a student asks a teacher about sex, the teacher by policy is required to answer with abstinence is the only way to prevent STDs in teen pregnancy. And that's all they are allowed to say. If they don't, they're in danger of losing their job. Good morning, 35 degrees at 733. I said 35, but you know it feels like 26 because we've got some winds out there. This is a hot topic, folks, if you want to talk about it. Talking about sex education in Lubbock Public Schools. You kids are on the Lubbock Youth Commission. Why are you involved in the Lubbock Youth Commission? Did someone drag you into it? Did you volunteer, or what happened, Shelby? Um, well, I, got, I read an ad in the newspaper. Uh -huh. It was just a notice, really, that they were going to have interviews at City Hall. I went and interviewed, and here I am. And phone lines are open, 770-5790 talking about sex education in the Lubbock Public Schools. And I believe HR is on the phone right now. Hey, HR, what are you doing on this Friday? Good morning, child. How you doing? I'm doing all right. What, what do you know? I just think that this is just an avenue to allow immorality. Morality has to be taught by the parents. And, and I realize that you have a lot of parents that, that are not doing it. But I still think that this thing needs to be monitored because, like I said, they're, they're trying to say that, that homosexuality is okay. And I realize that the teen rate is high, the teen pregnancy rate is high. But I'm telling you, there's also some parents, me, I'm one of them that wants to raise my own child. All right. All right. Thanks for calling in. Bye-bye. What do you think about that? Um, and how would you address that? Because a lot of people are saying that it should be left up to the parents. The schools should not be involved. What's your response to that, Shelby? From the statistics, parents aren't telling their kids. Uh -huh. And um, education is the best way. Um, kids really want that education. They, they want to know about this kind of stuff and if somebody doesn't tell them, they're going to go experiment and that's going to be their education. I was 15 when I pledged sexual purity. Do you have the ring? It was the thing to do if you're a good Southern Baptist girl. Listen, young people, the first time I ever had sex in my life was when I was 20 years old. It was in Austin, Texas at the Hilton Hotel at 11.30 at night in room 1158. That's right. You say, oh, that's TMI, too much information. Well, I don't think so because it was on July the 15th, 1978. I celebrate it every year. It's my wedding anniversary. Sex is what two dogs do out on the street corner. They just bump and grind a while, boom, 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 and then they go their separate way. But how many of you know in your junior high, in your high school, at your college, there are some young people that are acting like dogs and just having sex? Don't you dare be one of them. If you are, you will get hurt physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Students just come up and make a straight line. What you're doing by coming up here and standing like this, you're gonna make a commitment to God, number one, that you're gonna live a sexually pure life. Number two, you're gonna make a commitment to your parents, you're gonna live a sexually pure life. 
Number three, you're making a commitment to your future husband or wife whom you've never met that you're gonna live a sexually pure life. And number four, you're making a commitment in front of all these people that you're living a sexually pure life. That means you're making a commitment to the world. You know, people, don't take this lightly. Now here's what we're gonna do. I want you to look into the eyes of your parent. Declare the commitment that you're making before God, before your parents, before your future husband. Use those words. And I commit to not have sexual relations with anyone until I'm married. And that is my personal commitment to God, to you, and to the man that I do not know yet, but that I will marry. And when I marry that man, that night will be our first time. Okay, Mom and Dad, I want you to acknowledge to your students that you will hold them accountable for this commitment. Look them in the eye and tell them, I will hold you accountable for what you have just said to me and repeat what they just said to them. Tell them that now. I will hold you to this commitment.